Hello, I wanted to add a little bit more to my React navigation video, so I decided to make it a short Curry Byte video. This video will focus on sending data from one screen to another screen. And there's two different ways to do this. So let's see what we have here. So I'm using the same food app from my Firebase series. As you can see here, I added a new detail screen. So it's food detail screen, and there's really nothing in here yet. I've added it to my app.js file here also. So if we go to our food list screen here, I want to rework a little bit of how we did our one food edit callback here. Also, as you can see here, I added the new navigation on press function call here for the food detail screen. So, but anyways, for our, our one food edit, so this is one way to do it, but I would actually prefer to send the function by a name instead of just the function itself. We're actually going to do this instead. So we're going to call it food edit callback. So as you can see, we're still sending the function, but now it has a name. So this allows you to actually send multiple functions or multiple objects. So you can send like more things in here too, you know. So let's save this and we'll go to our debugger here. Go to our food form screen. Let's go to our navigation object. Date, params. And now you see that we actually have a food added callback as a name here, as a param name here, which is better than what we had before. So let's go back to our code. So to actually get the value back, we go to our food form screen. And this is where we actually uh, received the function before, but here we'll do it a slightly better way. So we'll do dot get param here, and we'll call it by the same name. So it'll be, I think we'll call it food added callback. So this way is a lot better because if it doesn't exist, then you can actually put in a default value here too. So this is a fallback value. So let's save this. So that's all you have to do to actually change what we had before to use get param. So now let's go to our food list screen again. And now we have food detail. So now we'll do the same thing here. We'll add, we'll call it food and we'll pass in our item. So let's save this, go to our debugger. Let's look at our detail screen log here. Navigation, state, params. And as you can see here, we have our food item here with our information that we want. So yeah, that's actually all you have to do to pass uh, params from one screen to the next screen. But there's one more thing that I want to go over too. You can have something like, I don't want to call them global parameters. You can pass parameters to your, to your navigators directly in your app.js. You do this through something called screen props. So if you, you look back at our log here, you can see we have a navigation object and we also have screen props. That is part of React navigation library, but we're not actually using that yet. So to actually set this up, we want to, instead of exporting this directly, we'll call this constant app container and we'll set it equal to this here. This should look pretty familiar. So we'll do export default and class, and we'll just call this app. So doing it this way has the advantage of that we can actually set different parameters in here. So now we have access to something called screen props. We could just put in something arbitrary for now. So let's do uh, test hello save. Uh, we have to import our standard things up here. So, and let's reload this. Okay, so now um, if we go to our food list screen, we are logging this dot props and let's go to our React Native debugger now. You can see that we have um, something under screen props now. So we have screen props test hello. So this is available to us because going back to our app.js, we're passing screen props into our app container. So anything inside of this here has access to this prop here. Yeah, I hope this makes sense and this is how you pass around different parameters slash props to your components with React navigation. They made it pretty easy. I tried to uh, keep it very simple. I didn't want to go into anything too complex. There's other things that React navigation can do, but, but this covers the majority of what you'll use the navigation for. Uh, stay tuned for more and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.